Hi, right, welcome back everyone. Um, I've actually decided to change a little bit of what we were doing in our um, monster. So I've added in player animation and player tree. So I'm going to go through the idle animation. I've already done the walk, but I'm going to do the idle with you guys and hopefully you guys do the walk. So um, it's very similar process to the player. So hopefully you kind of already understand how to do this, but I'll do the idle with you anyways. And there is a unique process for the animation player. So I actually just found out you can do this. So um, what we can do in our animation player is make the idle, let's do down for now. So we're going to make an idle for each one. So idle uh, left, idle um, up. Oh, that's just up. We want to rename it to up, idle up, idle up. And I think we're missing idle down. No, right, idle right. And so what we can do, this is a bit tricky, but if we go to the animated sprite, as you can see, the keys disappear. But what we can do is on the bottom, we can click animation, and then we can now select our, for example, idle right, and then we can key it. And that's going to key the animation. It's not going to key like a frame, it's going to key the animation itself. So as you can see, it's right there. Now we can do this for each one. So idle down, we key it. We go to idle left, key that. And then we also do idle up. There we go. And now we have one for each idle. We also, and I would hope you also do the walks. So I did the exact same thing for the walk. I just did that off stream or off recording. So now in our Skelly, I've removed quite a bit of um, what's happening. So this is, I basically copy pasted this from the player. So you literally just copy paste this into the player and put it in here. And then we're, we're also going to go into our player and we're going to paste this guy right here. And now um, there's nothing else to change other than the direction. So the direction is the input vector. It's the same thing. It's just input vector or direction instead of input vector. So in our hostile, you just replace it with direction right? because the, that, that direction gives us the exact parameter that we need. So in our tree, we're going to create a blend space. This is going to be the idle. And hopefully you do another one on that block. And then uh, the name is the same, so we don't even have to edit it. Now we have to go into here. We have to add our points. So idle left. Oops, that's idle right. Can I change it? Let's see. That's actually, yeah, delete it. There we go. Idle left, idle down. If you remember, the y axis are reversed. Idle up, and then we're going to have idle right. And so now, I think that's it. Let's add the transition between those two, though, just in case. Um, oh, another thing. Ooh, I forgot this earlier. Um, make sure the blend space is discrete. So we don't want this. It won't work if it's not like that. Um, and do the same thing for the walk. And now, I think that should work. So let's test. So we're idle left, if I move out, it'll do idle down. So why is that? That is strange. Ooh, because I didn't, don't know why that. Okay, there we go. So now it's running. Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay, there we go. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm doing in my code. There we go. Okay, now let's test it. It's running. It's only showing the one frame for some reason. Let's go up, but it is. Turning. So why is it not playing the full animation? Let's see. I had a problem earlier that, let's see if this works. Nope, that's not working. Um, let's get rid of that and see if this works. Nope, that's not working. Let's see what I had earlier because I had this exact same problem. Okay, we're gonna delete that. We don't need that anymore. Um, we're gonna go back to our player. We're going to copy paste that. So if we're not moving at all, um, what we can do actually is um, elif. Uh, no, not direction because our input is not the same. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that's not working. So let's see what's going on. Okay, the direction should only be updated outside here. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think we have to reset it. 
So reset their direction to zero every time. Let's try that. Okay, it's not working for some reason. That's very strange. Let's go into our player. Um, animation tree, it's active. Let's get rid. Ooh, let's make this the start. Okay, I'm not sure why it's actually not working. So I will be right back. I'm going to figure out why it's not working anymore. And yeah. All right, I fixed it. Um, so now, oh, okay. So it was working like two seconds ago. Oh, there we go. Now it's chasing, so chase up and I leave and it starts playing idle. Now I leave idle, it runs, it chases and it goes back to idle. Um, so I think in the animated sprite, it was, the playing was off. Um, so it might have actually been working for you because I turned it off before, I'm not sure why. Um, but everything else should have been the same. Uh, so if you're getting weird bugs, maybe try to debug it on your own. But here are my stats. So everything, the animated spread is playing. The animated player, nothing is on default. The animation tree, this is by default playing, so idle. Um, I put it the process mode to physics. I don't know if that makes a difference. Let's give it a try. Let's go to idle. No, I don't think it does make a difference. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it on idle. So um, that's it. Um, and then here is the code for the player or the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> the zombie. Um, but yeah, that's it. So now we have four directional chasing for our, our skeleton. Now let's go into um, global and we're going to go to our game. We're going to add a health bar. So health. We'll do um, player, we'll call it player HP, and then we'll also have player max HP. So this one will be like 100, and this one will be 50 for now. Okay, no errors. Um, we're going to actually also save it, just in case. Not just in case, but that's what we want to do. Um, so here we'll do player HP and player max HP, just copy and paste those. And then we're gonna to have to do the same thing here. So copy paste it into the loading and saving. All right, awesome. Now we have loaded and saved our HP. Um, let's close our skeleton for now, we don't need that. Now we're going to add a new thing called UI. So to make a UI, usually I like to create it in canvas layer. So canvas layer is down here. And this is a good layer. And what a canvas layer is, is it's just a layer that is put on top of your screen. So no matter what is behind it, the canvas layer will always be in front, essentially. So we're going to save this in our player folder and we're gonna name it UI. And then in our UI, we're going to have, we're gonna rename it to UI. Oops, that's not how you do it. All of it, UI. And then we're also going to have, what do we want to do? For now, let's add a label that will have our HP and because I eventually will have, we'll keep it anyways. So we'll go to the process function. We're going to uncomment that. We're going to go to here. We're going to say text, uh, self dot text equals um, string. So we have to convert our player HP to a string plus uh, we'll have outside like that or over a kind of um, game dot player max HP. And yeah, that's it. So now, and it should by default have the pixel. Yeah. So it'll look like this. Let's have 10 for now, just so we can test that it'll load it to 50. So We'll have it right there on the top left. And now what we do is it'll error because we have to save and load. This is trying to load something that doesn't exist. So save and load, do play, um, select. And now we don't have anything there because we didn't even put our UI. So we have to drag our UI into our screen. And it doesn't matter where you drag it in. So as long as it doesn't matter, if you drag it into the end of the world, it'll always follow the player because this is going to be a thing that is just on top of the, the world, basically. Awesome. And now what we can do is let's go into our player here, player, and let's, let's start our attacking. So 
We're not going to finish it in this video, I think, but we'll we'll give it a try. So or we'll get started on it. So we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our sword animation, and so we're going to have to make it four by four, just like every other one. We're going to have to drag it in on top of the guy. We'll name this attack, and then same thing. We're going to have to give it the same parameters as this one. So we're going to go to attack. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to drag in the sword. And now instead of walk, what we'll do to make this quick is just control R and replace all. And that's super easy. Awesome. Um, ooh, that doesn't, doesn't exist, huh? Ah, that's why. Character two. No, that's weird. It should exist. OK, let's check. Character two, sword. Ah, okay, it's 32 pixels. Interesting. And that should not air. Okay, there we go. So I guess you also have to change it to 32 pixels. I'm not sure why it's 32 pixels. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Um, but either way, um, now we can go into our animation and let's just create an attack down. And what we can do in here is go to attack, we can do frame zero, and then go to frame 0 0.1, frame two, or frame one, and key, key, key. And we'll change this to 0 0.4. And then we're not going to loop this one because this one's not a loop, it's just one animation. Um, let's now make one for each one. So attack uh, left. Go to frame four, key, 0 0.1, key, key, key. And then we'll have attack up. And then there's also going to be attack left. Ooh, attack left already exists. Strange. Attack left, what do we have here? Oh, okay, right, sorry. Attack right. Attack right. There we go. Um, now we go to attack up. There it is. Go to frame. Oops. Eight key. Zero one nine key key key. Attack right. Go to key. Zero point one. One frame up. Key key key. And that is it. And we're going to change all of them to zero point four seconds. Down. Back left. Back right. Back up. Um, and now, what we can do is okay. So, in our process function, we are going to be checking for the input strength here. However, now we want to make an attack input. So, what we can do is go to project settings, input map, make a Attack. And in this attack, we can add physical key and we can do Z for now. And that is it. And now we can kind of move this. So, what we can do is we can actually move all this into a new function called input. Uh, we can do check input. Move it all down there. Make sure it's right and then call this function in our process, function process, or physics process, sorry. And then in our input, another thing we can do instead of just the input vector is check for um, the input of our attack. So um, if input dot get action, nope, not action, get um, pressed, no is action press. There we go. Now I remember. Um, attack. Then we can just print attack for now, just to make sure it works. Now we can play. Go to play. Press Z or Z, and our attack shows up. And what we have to do now is also make this invisible. Go to our script in our, where is it? Here we go. In our match function, we're going to now have uh, an attack frame. So we're going to show our attack. Oops, what did I do there? 
attack. And then we're also going to have to hide our attack node. Attack, hide, and now we have all three. So what we can do is we can do, do, do. Okay, so what we can do is, um, yeah, let's let's try to add this for now. Let's see what happens. Attack, I press Z, it shows, and that's it. <laughs> so, okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to create a attacking variable, and it's going to be false. And now what we can do is. Go to animation player, go to animation finished. We're going to connect that to the player. We're going to say if, oh, if attack in anim name attacking equals false. And then we can do attacking equals true over here. Anim name, I don't know why that's. I can't spell, I guess. Um, and then what we can do here is if attacking equals false, then we can check for all this. Now, if we play, sorry, if I attack, well, oh, it's not playing, so it'll never turn back and because it's never gonna check. So let's play it. Um, let's just do get node. Um, uh, animation player dot play attack down for now. It doesn't matter. Let's play. Let's play. If I click Z, it attacks. Attacks down, obviously. And then once it's done, it, we can move again. So I can only I can attack and I can't move while I'm attacking. Right? At the moment it's only attacking down, but it does work. So um, that's it for today's video. I want you to figure out how to add this in the animation tree. So that's your homework. So in the animation tree, I want you to figure out how to add an attack state, essentially. So at the moment, all we have everything here, and it should be set up for you to figure this out. So I want you to do that and figure it out before next video. So I will see you guys next time.